Hello folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC and DDK goes for rocketry level 1 part 3 and in this episode we're going to be painting the rocket. Say hello buddy. Hello. <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the inspiration? You've come up with a name haven't you? So uh, the name for the rocket is going to be Ukrainian Blue. Uh, long story as to why, uh, mostly just because I'm going to be marrying a Ukrainian girl next year. Uh, so Ukrainian Blue is the name of the rocket, and for the paint job, the inspiration was this. Yes. It's a uh, Sukhoi 27 fighter jet. This one happens to be a part of the Ukrainian Air Force, and we just really like the colour scheme. And, and you've come up with a mock-up, haven't you? Yeah, well, Here we mock go. being the keyword. <laughs> there it is. Yes, in all its glory. So you've got a kind of digital... Uh, camouflage scheme going on with some roundels and um, yeah it looks pretty cool it's, it's a nice it's a nice effort they make. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft Paint you can't go wrong MS Paint <laughs> so that's that's the idea so shall we um, see if we can go make that happen yeah well we can try and uh, <laughs> see what we come up with nice So now you've got the difficult decision. Which shades of blue? Do, do, do. All the different colours. Lots to choose. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's definitely better. I think that works really well, doesn't it? Okay, so we're back from the paint shop. And, uh, and this is what we got, so mate, explain, uh, explain what we've got here. So uh, we've just got some grey primer, uh, we'll cover everything in that. Uh, and then for the nose cone, we've got uh, a slightly darker grey. These are all car paints, so it might say Ford, but Ford don't know they're now sending their paints airborne. Uh, we've got um, two shades of blue and a light grey, which will go on the main body of the rocket and the fins uh, and this nose cone. So. Uh, with a little bit of luck, we should be able to get it how we want it. Sweet. Right, so uh, next we'll have a look at prepping the rocket for painting. Okay, guys, so here you can see the uh, rocket, and we're about to uh, prep it for spraying. Um, it's important to wipe the whole airframe down uh, with some uh, water or soap, uh, just to clean off all the dirt and grease. And then, as you can see here at the base of the fins, are the fillets um, which we use to glue uh, on the fins to the airframe. Uh, so they're going to need sanding. Uh, do you want to just explain how we're going to do that? Yeah, so as you see here, there's a big blob of epoxy and um, some others around the side. So we're just going to use this, this sandpaper and it's just going to involve just sanding this down nicely, trying to get it as smooth as possible between the con contacts between the uh, airframe and the fins. Yeah, so that's it in principle. All we're going to do is use some 220, so reasonably fine grit uh, sandpaper to get a nice smooth finish. Uh, so we'll get on with doing that. Okay, folks, so here you can see we have prepped the rocket for painting. The bottom section is covered in masking tape. That's the motor retainer. And the fillets here we've sanded with 220 grit uh, paper and then rubbed the whole airframe down with a wet cloth just to get rid of any uh, oil or any release agents that are left on the materials. Uh, I'll just show you what we've done at the top of the airframe. Okay, so you can see we've masked off the inside of the top of the airframe. You don't want to get any masking tape on the outside as obviously you want to be painting that and this will protect the inner airframe from getting any paint on it. So now we need to prime it. So folks, here you can see I've given the nose cone a first coat of primer. You want to put it on nice and gently. I'm now going to uh, demonstrate with DDK how you do that. Okay, so you can see we've got the rocket out here ready in a sort of spray area. Uh, you want to make sure that you have got some cloths down so you don't get any paint uh, where you don't want it. And then we put a, a big branch on there to uh, stop them from moving. And also, you want your painting attire, which uh, DDK is 
aptly demonstrating here because it is quite a messy job. So you want to shake the can up um, nice and vigorously so you make sure that all the paint is mixed together and then once that's done uh, you can begin spraying. Right, okay, so DDK is about to start spraying here. What he does, um, he'll have the can about 15 centimeters away from the rocket, and then just give it a light coat and make sure that uh, as he's spraying, he keeps the can moving in a nice uh, even direction to get a good coverage and uh, build up the coat. So here we go. Okay, so there is the first coat. As you can see, you just put it on nice and gently and uh, build the coats up with the sand, uh, with the uh, primer. Uh, and then any little bubbles, anything uh, untoward that you didn't catch with the sandpaper and clean it off the first time, uh, just go over it with some uh, light grit sandpaper. Uh, 220 or above will do until you get a, a nice smooth finish. And then you just build up the coats, which is what we'll do. And uh, we'll show you once we've finished priming the entire rocket. Okay folks, so here you can see the priming has been completed. DDK has done a great job for his uh, first attempt at, uh, at spraying. So uh, yeah, you can see we've got a nice even coat of primer over the whole rocket. The entire surface is nice and smooth and we built it up slowly but surely, layer by layer, and it's now ready for the colour coat. So we'll uh, let it finish off drying and uh, put some colour on it. Okay folks, so here we are ready for the colour coat. DDK's got the uh, can nicely shaken up, so here we go, putting on uh, some of the light blue. Going to do the whole rocket in the light blue as the uh, base coat, and then uh, mask off the camouflage from there. So, um, the process is underway. Again, do it in nice light coats, and uh, we'll show you once the rocket's in blue. All right, buddy, what have we uh, done here? So um, we've done the nose cone. Um, we had the masking tape on that earlier, uh, covering this section, and we sprayed it with some primer and the uh, darker gray paint. And on the actual rocket body, we've just gone over the whole thing with primer and then the uh, light blue color uh, over the whole thing. And then uh, the next job will be to uh, masking tape off some different sections and then get the, the dark blue and the light gray to get the sort of nice camouflage we're looking for. Sweet, right, so uh, we'll mask that off uh, next. So uh, here's the completed first stage of masking tape. So um, because the base layer is the light blue color, we want these bits that are underneath the masking tape to remain that light blue color. And then we're gonna have the, uh, the darker blue and the grays in these spaces here. Still a lot of work to do, but it's getting there. So uh, next up we're going to spray uh, everything that you can see light blue at the moment grey and then obviously uh, we'll repeat the masking process for that to uh, separate the dark blue. Okay folks, so here you can see we're outside now ready to do the light grey element. Uh, we've made sure that the masking tape is stuck down as best as possible at the edges to try and get uh, some reasonably defined lines between the uh, different colors of camouflage. So uh, yeah, the same process, except for this time we're gonna spray the whole thing gray and uh, where it's masked off, we'll uh, save the light blue. So away we go. Uh, 
Uh, okay, folks, so you can see this is the first coat has been completed on the rocket. Again, just like every other uh, coat, you want to just build the layers up nice and uh, gently uh, one by one. So there we go. So we'll carry on building up those layers and uh, show you when it's all uh, finished and uh, painted silver. Right folks, so here you can see a silver rocket. So we've uh, gone over the whole thing with the silver and uh, underneath the masking tape, as I say, is still the light blue. Um, so next up will be to let this dry and then mask off where we want to keep the silver and then uh, do the dark blue. So uh, we'll do that. Okay guys, so here you can see we've done the last bit of the masking. So uh, anything that's exposed now is going to be the deeper shade of blue. So without any further ado, it just needs spraying up. Here we go. Start at the bottom. Okay folks, so the blue has finally been finished and uh, that really completes the painting stage. So uh, next time you see it, it will all be completely finished. We'll have peeled off the masking tape and uh, also put on some decals and installed the rail buttons. So that's coming up. Okay folks, so here we are, it's all done, finished and assembled, painted and she's looking absolutely gorgeous, Ukrainian blue. So mate, you happy with the results? Very, very happy, yeah. Um, the painting was, was really good fun, I've never really done anything like that before, so I was really happy with that. Got some uh, stickers on here, this is some uh, symbol of Ukraine, hence the uh, Ukrainian blue name. Got some round doors and uh, some rail buttons in now as well. Yeah, we screwed those on so uh, it's literally ready to fly straight away and do your level one. Yeah. Fingers crossed. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> um, a little bit apprehensive, a little bit nervous, but also really can't wait just to see this shooting up into the sky. Well, you did a great job building it and, and painting it and I think uh, everyone will agree that it looks absolutely fantastic. So, that's it. It's all done. The next episode will be DDK doing his uh, level one flight. So if you don't want to miss that, hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you next time on Max Thrust RC. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.